Hello, good sir. Hello. Welcome to you, and welcome to anyone watching this after the fact. I've got a story for you if you got a couple minutes. Okay. Uh, so where we left off last week it was the Battle of Asclum, which I think was in uh, around, what, 280, 281 BC? So five years have now progressed, and Pyrrhus, not content to just sap his wounds uh, at the time, he lent himself out. He was asked by some of the Greek city-states in Sicily to see if he could bring some of his battle expertise over there and help them out of a little jam they were having with those Carthaginians. And he says, well, I'm not having much luck here uh, on the Italian peninsula, so sure, sure, I'll come over and help. And that's what he was does. That's the offer he got. That was the legitimate offer. Well, I believe it was. Do you know of another offer? He was. He, he was offered to, to go back to Macedonia, too, and fight some battles. Oh, that's... Sicily. See, it's, it's good to be wanted by people. But he ended up going over to Sicily. Of course, that cheesed off a lot of people on the Italian peninsula, especially the Samnites. Because uh, during the previous two battles, they were some of his strongest allies. They were the local expertise that knew the terrain, and they were seasoned veterans of many battles with the Romans. And, of course, they had their own axes to grind with the Romans. And when he said, ta for now, they did not take that very well. So they attempted in their own way to stave off the Romans without the Greeks' help, the Macedonians' help, or the Epirotes, I guess, specifically. But without his help, uh, they, they suffered mightily, I think, under the Romans. So that will we'll put a pin in that because that'll be important later. So our hero here, Pyrrhus, he goes over and he helps and they manage to push back the Carthaginians and he actually decides what he should do is really put it to the Carthaginians and he wants to conquer the entire island of Sicily. And in order to do that, he had to become a little more despotic than perhaps the Sicilians were interested in having and to build this total war machine against the Carthaginians. Many of the the populace there did not look kindly. And so um, he was, I guess, moderately successful, but in the end he was asked to leave. Now there are different accounts, of course, but uh, in one account he was, let's say, shown the door. And uh -huh. so uh, he, uh, but in a good way, you know, they probably put him on a boat and said, see you later, just, you know, not if we see you first. Um so he decides he's going to go back to uh, try his luck once again at Tarantum. So he he goes back and he reassembles forces. And when he arrives, there's much celebration because, hey, Pyrrhus is back and we can, we can go at the Romans again. And he figures third time's the charm. And he's immediately successful. Just his presence brings brings out the local populace. Now these are, of course, the green, the young, very enthusiastic uh, wannabe warriors. And so he's able to build his army, his numbers, with these inexperienced fighters. But what he really needs are those old guard, right? The Sam Knights and some of the other very seasoned veterans. And those are the ones that say... No, not this time. We have long memories, and five years is not soon enough for us to forget what you did. So you left us in the lurch. Now we're going to leave you in the lurch. And so he has a very hard time raising experienced troops. He gets he gets numbers, but they're not the quality that he's hoping for. So we, we turn our tail here to the Roman side of things, and... Uh, the Romans, of course, they hear the note that Pyrrhus has come back, and they are cautious, but they feel like they've got a plan now. So in 275, they have the two military consuls for that year are uh, Manius Curius Dentatus, that's all one person, and the other consul is Lucius Cornelius Lentulus Caudinus. For short, we're going to call them Dentatus and Lentulus, as we uh, have, we've got noted here in the in the scenario. And what they do is they actually have uh, two separate groups of legions. They start heading southwest uh, to meet uh, the the rising forces of Pyrrhus. And Pyrrhus, to counter this, has split his forces into two. 
and he sends one off to face Lentulus, and they're kind of uh, south, southwest, sort of, uh, they will, they will meet, those are the smaller armies, and they will meet uh, down near Naples, but the, the bigger forces will be controlled by Pyrrhus and Dentatus, and that is the setting that we have here for Beneventum. Now, it should be noted that historically, according to Plutarch, at the time, the village was actually named Maleventum, which means ill coming. So they meet, this is fairly hilly terrain, uh, there are some plains here, and the Romans have set up camp. They, they know Pierce is coming from advanced scouts, and so they have set up uh, their bivouac here. And as we can see, they've got ramparts, they've got heavy war machines, they are ready for an assault. And the Epirote army decides, Pyrrhus decides what he should do is uh, put forth a, you know, a straightforward forward assault, but he's also going to attempt to flank them. He's going to try to use some trickery. So in the evening, what he has done is he's taken about 25% of his forces and he sends them off to, it's not clear based on the, uh, the reports from the different sources. It's not clear if it's to the right flank or the left flank, but suffice to say it's through the woods, a heavily wooded area along the flanks of this Roman camp. The problem is they have poor guides and there's even some suspicion that the guide was actually a Samnite and he's like, hey, watch me. I'm going to get even with Pyrrhus on this one and was taking them down these very dense forested areas with poor roads, and in fact, they're actually described in some accounts as goat tracks. And uh, it's late in the evening, they have lanterns, the lanterns start to go out, the lights are removed, so these guys are just wandering around aimlessly in the dark, getting lost, no battle cohesion. What they're supposed to do is get to the flank of the and come bursting out uh, to the side and surprise the Romans and then send up trumpets so that the main assault force knows to attack from the front. That does not happen. Pyrrhus is waiting and waiting and waiting and his men are staying up waiting and waiting and they get tired and eventually they realize that the battle is not going to happen that evening. So the next morning when the forces do or come bursting out of the woods, they're tired, they're thirsty, uh, they're probably suffering from a little bit of exposure, and it's a very half-hearted attack on this flank. But they bring in elephants. They've, they've taken the elephants through the woods, and the problem is they've, they've got about 10 elephants, and the Romans are no fools anymore. They're not surprised by elephants anymore, so they know the best thing to do with an elephant is to throw javelins at it. So they so they show force. I'm and, glad someone's paying really attention to these games. Exactly. So they so they start pelting them with missile fire. And in one of the more specific accounts uh, from either Dionysius of Harlequinassus or Plutarch, as it's almost like a Walt Disney story of of Dumbo and Jumbo here, where a, a spear strikes a baby elephant calf, and the handler loses control of the calf. Uh, the calf is running around wounded, and he runs to his mama, and the mama starts to get enraged, and she rampages, and she causes all kinds of chaos, and all the others start to rampage. So you've got now eight to ten rampaging elephants squishing their own troops, causing all kinds of uh, chaos, and the Romans just go right into them. They send a few phalanxes directly in, and they just wipe them out. <laughs> so the flank attack has failed, and Pyrrhus sees this from the front, and he decides, well, now's the, the time to try to save that poor force. So he starts moving forward on the battlefield, and then that's when Detatus says, charge, and they come running out of their ramparts straight into the uh, the Epirote lines, and uh, it's it's no contest because the Romans at this point are steadfast, they're well organized, they're rested, and they just drive directly into Pyrrhus like warm butter, if I'm going to use a, a trope. Uh, and Pyrrhus... Hot knife through butter. A hot knife through warm butter, yes. And Pyrrhus realizes that the battle is not going in his favor and that as he saw in his previous two engagements with the Romans, that 
Uh, he might win on paper, but he's going to still lose because of the devastation and the casualties. So rather than seeing his forces get routed off the field, he begins an orderly withdrawal. And they retreat uh, away from the battlefield, seizing the, or giving the, ceding the field to the Romans. And at that point, he says, I am done. This is my adventures in, in it. Italy are not going to go well ever, ever again. This was the end of his attempts to take on Rome. And so, per what you mentioned before, he jumps back on his ships, takes about 8,000 troops back with him, leaves the rest in Tarentum, and goes back to Macedonia to try to try his hand at conquering things uh, on the Grecian peninsulas again. So... That's where we're going to see, you know, this is the end of the, the trilogy of scenarios for Pyrrhus. And poor guy. It's a, a perfect example of being great on paper, having all the skills, having the talent, but just nothing ever going your way. And I think probably he had a bit of an ego, too. He was too proud to admit defeat. And uh, this, this just finally undid all of his work in Italy. So... There we are. That's where we have, and the ed, and it's a wonderful thing because a few years later, about five years later, the Romans decide they're going to, in a tourism boon, change the name of that village to Beneventum, and as you know, amity means friendship. So that's exactly what they did. And it's the first, uh, first example of a uh, media spin to try to improve tourism and colonization to the area. So that is the Battle of Beneventum we have looking forward to tonight. Why don't you tell us about the War Council? Well, looking here at the War Council, we're playing the Seven Banners tonight. Not a whole lot going on here in the War Council. Each side's going to have five command cards. Each side's going to have two leaders. So things will be even there. The wrinkle tonight will be some terrain features. Nothing we haven't seen before. This is true. I've got, the, I've got them open for us to review. On the north side of the board, we've got some forests. They, of course, will block line of sight. Units cannot battle when they enter a forest on the turn they enter. There's no restrictions to uh, any green troops on foot or warriors when they're going through forests. Inside a forest, it'll be a max of two dice in close combat. And uh, targeting a unit in a forest... Uh, with range combat will be a max of one die. So maybe it'll provide some cover from those mighty war machines on the Roman side. The Romans have some fortified camps. They uh, block line of sight. Uh, mounted units inside the camps receive no protection. Units will roll one fewer die when battling out. as a trade-off. The unit inside the camp will be protected. They'll get to ignore... One cross sword and one flag when inside a camp. Um, and from range combat, they could ignore one flag. Ramparts will provide protection along the front facing hex. So, the uh, basically anything facing towards the north end of the map where you see the little pile of sand on the one that's clear. Close combat, they'll get to ignore one cross sword and one flag when they're attacked from across the rampart. And in range combat, look at to ignore one flag if fired at from across Rampart. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Um, I am looking at the uh, the one... Are you looking at your printed version of it? Yes. Okay, so say that part again about the range combat for Rampart, because I don't see that. It says ignores one flag if fired at across Rampart. Perfect. Okay. So this one just says, when attacked across a hexide with a rampart, foot units can ignore one sword and one flag. So I presume that is in close combat. And then uh, you, will, you will need to remind me. Yeah. Cross, you know, cross swords never work in, in ranged combat. Right. So. Right. Okay. Well, you are going to be playing the Romans first. The Romans. The and I will uh, be playing the very optimistic Pyrrhus, as it turns out, uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes tonight. Um, as long as I don't have rampaging elephants. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay. Here, 
five cards. I have my five. As do I. All right. Well, then I believe... And as always, good luck to you, sir. And good luck to you. Let us do... We'll activate three in the center. Oh, dear. Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, yes, it is, because you have my favorite units. Warriors. Yeah. Are the Roman lines. Really? Now, how did you know that I was going to do that? So, we will send an elephant up to there. And then we will send these warriors... Screaming and slathering forward to attack those lights. So, we will start with this one here. As a show of force, what will those lights like to do? They would like to evade. All right, so we've got four dice coming at them with green circles only. Here goes. First blood. Good evade, as it turns out. All right, so that is all. I will inspire my troops in the center of the field. With my leader, we will attack. So the leader, hex, and four adjacent linked hexes. So there we go. Those units. Right, medium troops get to move one. Oops. Don't want to move everybody. So up. They move out. We'll start here, targeting your warriors with four dice, so fleeter bonus. All right. Oh, hit. the leader bonus gets a hit. He hit. All right, so we will return with our one and only four dice for this. Uh, a hit and an ignorable retreat. Over here, same target. These warriors will attack. These Medium troops will attack your warriors. Okay. Again, four dice and leader bonus. Two. All right. And we got three dice back. Mm, two hits. And over here, mediums attacking warriors. No leader bonus, just four dice. A hit and a retreat. Okay. So a hit, and fall back two. Okay. This unit will advance. That's a little early, but it would have been better if the other had not retreated, but I will use Clash of Shields. Oh dear. And um, we'll see if we can't break these guys in the middle with their last dying breath. Uh, five, five, dice. five dice. Here it goes. Woo! Got it. And they will advance, and they will go after th these guys now with three, uh, with four dice. Three dice, excuse me, three dice now, just back to regular dice. Uh, so, here we go, three dice. And a hit and a retreat. Okay. That is all. I'm going to order two units on my left. Those two units. No, don't shoot my elephants! All right, heavy war machine, range of six. There's a special place in hell for people like you. Shooting at your elephants with two dice. Ooh. <laughs> All right, whatever order you'd like. Okay, so against your warriors. Ah, squish. Squish. And 
against your light infantry. None. Okay. Oh! What a javelin! Land squarely in the midst of that unit of bowmen. Striking it. They didn't even see it coming, because I didn't see you shooting. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Oh, they got to move and shoot. Well... Right, gang up on this guy right here. Uh, we got three dice, three dice to hit, and then four dice coming back at you. Mm. Nothing. And then these guys, same thing. See if they can flank them. Three dice. Ooh. Close. Four dice coming back. Yeah. The last dying breath they spit at thee. And that is all. I'm gonna order some medium troops around. You just got that card, didn't you? You just no. got Yeah. No. Uh. All right. I'll try to f finish off those fearsome warriors. Perhaps one of those uh, wild young Italian tribesmen you were talking about earlier. So here we go. Four dice. Mm. No, but they, they certainly them back. Prudent. One, two, three, four. Going after your light infantry. Well, they will evade. All right, three dice here. All right. And that is everybody. I think we'll do two on the right. And for those two, do some withering hail of fire. I anticipate a peppering. A peppering, if you will, yes. Uh, two dice. Uh, got a flag. And now this guy has a bead on your mediums with your leader, so two dice. And they can ignore that, of course. And that is all. Unless you'd like to take it. No. Okay. That is all. Mounted charge. You just love that card, don't you? Medium cav targeting your light cav. All right. That bear to evade too. So here you go with. Four dice. Mm. Oh my. Perhaps we should get those javelins and lances sharpened. Here's two dice back. Nothing. Oh, wait, leader hit. Oh, hey. Leader. Yeah. Leader hit. Right. Can't let that leader inspire your cavalry, so four dice against him. Medium cavalry. So. A hit. A hit. Two dice for your leader. Okay. He's, oh, he got the roll <laughs> for the like half. All right, and here's a disastrous charge. Three dice back with leader bonus, and we force a retreat. Um, yeah. That was a terrible charge. We will do. Four units on the left. Get on your horse. All right. So the 
lights will commence a peppering on him. Mm. Mm. So here's one die. Ooh. That's what you wanted. There it is. Okay. Um, Ooh. This light cavalry will go after your lights. With two dice plus leader bonus. One hit. Two dice to retaliate. Nothing. The leader here will go after your medium. Uh, uh. No, he's going to go against the lights there. All right. We got uh, three dice plus leader bonus. And just one hit. All right, then. Um, that is all. Well, I better use it before I don't get... before I get you, uh... kill him. Uh, you are a bastard with those horses. God. Four dice against your leader. Dang. Yes. Uh, yes! Come on. <laughs> uh, that is a hit. Give me a leader check. Mm, close. And three dice back with leader bonus. Just the one. Do a coordinated attack. And we will start with the moving the elephant up. Mm -hmm. So the light bow will then send some arrows your way to. Nothing. Um, the elephant will go after that. Awaiting a first strike card. Yeah, okay. okay. Go ahead and roll it. Four dice. And gets it. And finally. Advance in battle, but there's no one in battle. Alright. Uh, and then we'll see if we can't finish your cavalry here with the leader. So three oh. dice. Hold. Yeah, yeah, three dice plus leader. Pays off. Would you like to go for bro? I, I, I would like to go there and then go back and then that. Let's see if we can't do them with three dice. Uh, just a hit. Could have taken out those mediums. You could have. Alright, two dice to retaliate. Mm, uh, ignore. Okay. Uh, that is all. Oof. Well. Leadership any section. So we'll activate those units. Have your war machine fire in two dice at your medium cavalry. Loose. Mm. A retreat. Um, we'll take it. Medium infantry going after light cavalry with leader support. Uh, we will evade. <laughs> That's a great evade. Uh, so. Gotta take one hit there. Oh yes, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Goodness, get schooled here. Oh, you know I can always cough up the ball. Um, we will do this. Start the missile fire here. Just one die. Nothing. Another one die. 
retreat, which you can take if you like, or ignore. I'm going to ignore it. Okay. And then two dice from the bowman. Well struck. And here is the leader check. He's okay. Uh, over here, we got one die from light to light. Nothing. And then uh, finally, you may evade from the light cavalry if you wish. We're going to stand. Ooh. Okay. Two dice. We're on the rope. Gotta take some chances here. Yeah, you can ignore that evade, or ignore the. Uh... And here come two dice back at you. Oh, send me packing. So, right back where they came. Alright. Whole lot of nothing there. Double time on it. Five dice against your light infantry with leader support. They will evade. Yeah. Two dice against your elephant with leader support. There you go. If I didn't, that elephant was going to come hit me set the next turn. So then there was just no choice. I hear ya. We'll do a line command. Oh dear. That's uh, quite the contiguous line of units you have up there, sir. It is. So, lights here, well, there, there. And everybody else will just take a step forward. All right, so I have fire here. Uh, two dice. Nothing. Two dice from the light bow. Mm, nothing. Unless you want to take it. I do not. Okay. Then one die. Nothing. Okay. Alright, two. We'll issue a line command. All these units here. Those guys will actually make that move instead. Okay. Medium infantry attacking your light infantry. Four dice and leader support. We will evade. Heavy infantry attacking your light bowmen with leader support. We will evade. Still takes two. Light infantry attacking light infantry with leader support. And they will stand. Okay, so one. Three in the center. Do those. Oh, my. Yeah. All right. Um, mediums against your heavy. Uh, four dice plus leader bonus. All right. On fire tonight, Patrick. <laughs> Shut up! You're gonna make it go away. Don't say anything. All right. Um, they will not advance, uh, and then we will have these guys go against your lights, and they will evade. So four dice, green circles only. Just one. Okay, that is all.
Okay, those three units. All right, War Machine against Medium Cavalry with two dice. All right. Math. Leader versus leader. Five dice with leader support. Okay, here it goes. Here we go. Two hits. No, oh, you're only I'm a medium. medium. Uh, hit. Give me that leader check. Okay, and he's all right. So four dice back with leader bonus. A hit and one retreat. You gotta take maybe two if you wish. Uh, here is the leader check. Oof. Heavy War Machine against Ferris and his troops. <laughs> Useless. Useless! Alright. Order mounted. Light cav against your lights first. You have options. I'll stay. Okay. Two dice plus leader bonus. And nothing. Two dice to retaliate. Nice. Eight. Hit. All right. Um, I I'm taking the fear victory tonight. <laughs> Medium cav against the lights. See if we can't finish them. You have another option. They will evade that. Okay. So three dice. Uh, green circles only. Come on, green circle. <sighs> All right. Come back again. All right. One, two. like I'm being overwhelmed by the mayor of Munchkinland. Light infantry attacking medium infantry with leader support. Okay. Two dice. A hit. Three hit. Okay. Four back with leader support. Just one. Making that retreat. Yep. Just getting that vulnerable unit out of there. All right, medium infantry versus medium infantry. Leader versus leader, four dice. I got him. Two hits. Leader check. Oh. oh. Paris falls. That is no bueno. Okay. Help. Um, so with the leader... Four dice, we your support. Three hits. Mm. It's a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Line command. Oh no. Five dice. Four Pyrrhus! Oof. Yeah. We're out of here. I'll take two of them. Yep. Oh, you're taking all three. Nice. Okay. We're out! <laughs> and lights have no target now. All right. Feet, don't fail me now. Two on the right. After that, light of cavalry with four dice and leader support. Okay, we'll evade. Hopefully, you got all the triangles and swords out yeah, of the way. Yeah, the way. Should have done that. Out of the way. So, here we go. Here come all the green circles. 
Four dice against your medium cavalry. Yeah. Look at, look at that green circle. Two but hits. Still got two hits and a retreat out of it, but you're supported, so you're good supported. to go. Okay. Uh, three dice leader bonus. And mm. a hit and a retreat. Leadership any section. Hmm. What I would do. Get by those trees. Oh. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Not going for the kill shot. All right. I, I'm too away from the kill shot. I need to regroup. I need a leader. Yeah, but, but you could easily get get my one <laughs> green down there and then try and pick off this medium cavalry with two units. Dude, have you met me? Have you met <laughs> You can I, say I, the I, dice I, are hot all you want, but uh, I know better. Okay. All right. Now... Well, we'll see what the comments have to say about this. Uh, we'll see. All right, so we're going to target that with two dice. I think he had me. Get one hit. Uh, it's off. It's all off now. Wow. All right. I'm going to try to outflank you. Boing. All right, four dice leader support against your light infantry. They will evade. Take a hit on your way to the woods. Well, as you say, risk it for the biscuit. Medium cav against medium infantry. Three dice plus leader bonus. Mm -hmm. That's one. And they will advance and battle again. Uh, let's see if we can soften here. Three dice plus leader again. That's one. Four dice back. Oh. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me do the leader check on that. Sorry, uh, here's leader check. He's a good. Okay, so yeah, that wipes out the medium cavalry. All right, so clearly a pyrrhic victory there. All right, and then we'll do the warriors here against mediums with three dice plus leader bonus. And there it is. <laughs> Let's see if uh, we'll see if the leader falls. He does not. Okay. Whew. What a knockdown drag out. Should not have been that close, Patrick. I got lucky. Uh, I got lucky taking that Pyrrhus. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was uh. You know. It scared me for a minute. I was like, oh god, I'm down a leader. How do I? Uh, how do I come back from that? And usually, when, yeah. you, when you said the dominoes have fallen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was going to be the next thing. I was going <laughs> to see these useless war machines couldn't do something. That's right. They're not useless in mass. Um, wow, man. That was good. That was really good. At one point, I had three line command cards. <laughs> so I know that there's four in the deck, at least, because you had one. Yeah. And then I, I have order-heavy order, order heavy troops. Um, so... When you started closing the gap, I was like, okay, I'm just going to roll up on you, and then you just kept falling back, which was interesting, so it, it drew things out a little bit. But yeah, at one point it was, what, five or six to one, or two? And it shows you just how close yeah, these games yeah, are. It was, five, it was five to one for the longest time. Yep. So, all right, let's, uh, let's reset. That one went a little bit longer, but... Uh, that was a very tense game. Very, very tense. So good good uh good job closing the gap there. Yeah, well I mean 
I, I really thought what you were going to do when you moved those horses back was, was just going to come down and try and take me out right then and there. You know, but he waited a turn, and he still did it, so good on you. Well, I've learned that patience is usually my biggest downfall here when I when I am not patient and I'm not setting things up and I try to rush the attack and then that's when the dice go, no, not yet, you're a fool. So if I just take it, just take it in steps, you know, pull those guys back, get them safe, and then decide when is the right time to, to reassess. Yeah, yeah. That leader, that leader perfectly poised to, yeah. to spread his influence around. Yeah. So. Cool. All right. Uh, we'll take five minutes and come on back. Okay. And we are back. We're back. All right. Yes. Well, let's let's see uh, what happens now when the uh, the shoe the is on the, the sandal. The sandal is, is on, on the other, the other foot. foot. Yes. All right. I will let you grab your cards. Fine hand it is. All right. Make the most of it, Pyrrhus. And we'll order four units on the left. Into combat. Being all my units. So my light cavalry will go after your auxilia. And they will take it and like it. So this will be uh, two dice with leader support. Hmm. The javelins, javelins errantly fall all about them, and they look at you with quizzical eyes before throwing their own javelins and return three dice uh, with nothing. So it's early, early jitters. All right, and then uh, medium cavalry going after your light infantry. Uh, Leader support. I think they will evade. Okay, three dice there. All right. So that's how it's going to be. I think so, yeah. I think so. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only two. It's only two. It's just those two. Those two, though. Oh no! My late cavalry! They're cut off! <clears throat> Alright. Do these first. Uh, with three dice. Oh. Ah. I should have done the other order. Oh well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, live and learn. Mm-hmm. Ah! Foolish. Forgot. I could have also activated that light infantry. They could have thrown a javelin! Well. I, be I believe you did activate them. Um, yes. So... We will activate these two. And attack your medium cavalry. With three dice and leader bonus. Tit for tat. That's really interesting. Hmm, okay. So we are definitely playing the encirclement game today. And I, of course, realized that I could have advanced, battled again, and I overlooked it, so, eh, it's gone. It has moved on, so continue. It will cost me to do here. Uh, maybe not. Two hits? Yep. Really? Who is cut off now? Three dice in return. Two hits. Make that sweet, sweet leader roll. Nope. Okay. All right, and then the other cavalry unit. Hmm. 
So yes, in the comments section, remember, point out that I could have advanced and battled again after eliminating the light unit, and I failed to do so. So. And I failed to point it out. That's <laughs> on me. Normally well, I am a good guy about that, but I didn't even realize it. That's okay. We're, we're both out for blood this time. Because <laughs> it's going to be close. Uh, okay. Gonna be that kind of a game, folks. Uh, this card is now useless, so we will just activate. I had two of those last turn, and they almost became useless. So now he will advance to there, and he will attack your medium oh, cavalry. Oh yeah, uh, sure three dice. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Now, uh, as a side story in this, when when that flanking attempt came in, the Romans had learned what they did was they actually kind of surrounded the elephants, and they were throwing all their javelins, so it was really like uh, a, a death pit for... It was just... <laughs> they were literally slaughtering the elephants as... Now, that officially, they only killed two, according to the historical record, but... Uh, uh, they they probably grievously wounded several of them as well. Um, okay, so here's a one die check, and he's fine. He just falls back. A horse is waiting for him. Okay. All right. That's a very good card. So I think I'm going to play it too. Bastard. <laughs> it's a shame that everybody's bottled up. It is, but I mean, the only one that really counts is this guy down here. Right. So, elephants will move up there. They'll have to stop as they navigate through the woods. Or perhaps you should navigate that way. All right. Going after the auxiliary to a four dice. Okay. And leader support. At least I got leader support. Yes, you did. Two hits. Coming back with three dice. Nothing. Activate three in the center. Activate four in the center. I'll see your two and raise you. We will activate medium troops. Five cards is hard. Um, You've got lots of blues. No, I've got six. I won't, you know, and I've only got five that I can activate, so... Uh, there, there, One's got there, there, there. Okay. See, that wasn't so hard, now was nah, it? Nah, it was fine. Magic. Go ahead. That was a good card. I'll play it too. Medium cavalry with a leader. Going after the girl auxilia with three dice. Okay. Mm. Scrappy they are. Mm -hmm. Just three dice yeah, back. Let's see if they can off them. Yeah, got a hit. Let's see if we can take that leader out. Ooh, almost. 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 Warriors. Ferociously attacking your light infantry. They have never seen the likes of this, so they will evade. Four dice. Nothing. To the ramparts. And these warriors will attack those seasoned medium troops. Four dice. Mm. Oh my goodness. That oh. would have been awesome oh. attack against oh. those heavies. But yes. not against mediums. You know what the warriors are missing? Battle, discipline, military training, 
They're simple men. Men of the woods. Here's four dice back with leader bonus. Uh, something. So they gotta take one of them. Take a hit. Uh... Oh no, they can ignore the first one because that they were untouched. So yeah, they can ignore both. All right. Um, you know what? You will fall back. Try and get some of that Roman discipline. <laughs> All right, activate those middle troops. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? I would. Do it. Do it. Are all just standing there going, "I'm here. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> I'm here." And then you actually do it, and then they go, "Down." <laughs> I didn't think this through. All right. Line there. Also move those light infantry too. They're part of your contiguous line as well. Yeah, down there. Yeah, I know. All right. We're gonna have some battle here first. Uh, Heavies against your warriors. Five dice plus leader bonus. Alright, hit me. Oh, wipe them out. Alright, uh, that is all. I'm gonna order my light troops into action. Alright, five light units. So, two javelins at your medium. Infantry. All right. Give me a leader check. Here's the leader check. Bowman at your medium infantry. And two javelins from them. And then over here, one of the mediums. They move, just like one die, and they get nothing. Um, and all the confusion, and address the cavalry. Oh, right, sure. I'll just get him out of the tree. And, uh, end this turn before I break the game any further. <laughs> Let's do outflanked. Hmm. Outflanked. Okay. Mm-hmm. over here. These mediums against your lights would have, yes, so four dice with green circles only. Effective, most effective, your majesty. Um, then we will do uh, these auxilia against your light bows. Okay. we will have three dice plus leader bonus, unless you wish to evade. A... Hey. Do. Okay. So green circles only. Nothing. And they will. Two. Okay. And uh, targeting them. This will be four dice plus leader. Plus you evade. Okay. So green circles only. Just a one. Okay. So taking a hit did nothing. Layer down to three. Okay, and he's gonna go one more. Oh, because he can evade through the forest. That yeah. forest won't. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right now, it's in the forest to stop him. All right. Um, that is all. Respond to that with some leadership in any section. All right, elephants going after your medium infantry with four dice. Okay. So, so far, one hit and a retreat. 
and that's it. One hit. And one retreat. The advance and battle again. I may. Okay, I'll try that instead. Four dice, medium infantry with leader. Okay. Four dice back with leader bonus. Ooh. Dead jumbo. I let you bait me into it. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. Didn't want to do that. I was just being a good steward of the rules, reminding you uh, of your options, of course. Sure. And we're here to educate the other players out there. The mind game. He's playing with me. Manipulating me. Playing me. Terrible. Should have known better. Didn't want to do that. Can I load the save game and do that again? <laughs> Guess not. Mm. No save games and board games, folks. You gotta live with the consequences. I did double time. Double time. Oh, that's stuff. Start over here. And we'll do four dice plus leader bonus. Two hits and one retreat you gotta take. So I guess I got a desperation fight back. You do? Four dice. And a punitive hit. Okay. Follow up. See if they can't finish them. So four dice leader bonus here. Got it. Tentatus against the warriors. With five dice plus leader bonus. Uh, one hit, two retreats. Send them reeling. He had better strike while he can, so he will advance into the space and take on Pierce directly. All right. This five dice plus leader. Two hits. Here's the leader check. He's all right. I have dice of leader coming back. Ooh, look at that. Wipeout. His risk. Dentatus survives. He lives. Falls back. Alright. Bloody. Yeah. Very bloody. Now that's why I didn't want to squander the elephant. That's why I should have retreated with the elephant. So it's just gonna be these two now. Medium cavalry against the auxiliary with leader support. There you go. Always keeping it close. Going. Gonna move. Gonna advance. Gonna move. Again, three dice with leader support. Mm. Two. And a retreat you can ignore. I will ignore. Here's uh, four dice plus leader. <laughs> Here's the leader check. It's okay. Well, you can throw spears from there. Okay. They have line of sight. Ah, uh, perfect. Build executed. All right. So 
start here. The auxilia against your lights. What would you like to do? I'll stand. Okay, three dice plus leader. They retreat to. Okay. Um, do these guys first. Uh, four dice plus leader. Okay. Three. Four dice back at you. One. Okay. And a retreat. We will stand and give me a leader check. This medium against that medium, same four dice plus leader. And there it is. There it is. Well, well fought, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I didn't have anything to move that center. I have a bunch of right flank cards, and a, a, I just got a move, fire, move. So, yeah. This one was another uh, knockdown drag out. I think if we're categorizing these, you have some that are very maneuver heavy. This one is just get in there, put steel in somebody's gut. It would seem uh, it did. This one did start out with the the big that big flank, you know, with your horse. It was great to see us both encircling each other, trying to cut mm -hmm. off the retreats. That was great on those those edges. Um, and then yeah, I could I could kind of tell once I got that line of battle going, I had. Again, at one point, three line command cards in my hand, and the double time, and a rally, which I haven't had to use yet. But uh, yeah, I was I was about to do a push broom. What do you think? Final thoughts? Ah, uh, good one. Um, all around, um, I think this is a, a nice little bit of a balanced scenario. Um, I just had some bad cards and some bad decisions, bad dice rolls. So, uh, but now. No, that's that's let's be fair. You you, you beat me. No, yeah. it wasn't. That. I mean, it was. Uh, I think final score here is uh, fourteen to ten. So it's not not overly decisive, but uh, both of them you managed to to keep them pretty close. Uh, so yeah, A any of them that are this close on both, you know, on both sides, uh, uh, I think that speaks to the nature of a fairly balanced scenario. Mm -hmm. uh, but this uh, marks the end of the Pyrrhic Wars, and uh, next week you will be telling us about... I th I think we're going over... Let's, I'm going to look ahead here. I forget. Uh, what is the next expansion? So we've had uh, Raffia. So whatever Raffia is, uh, I don't know if that is back to uh, some of the squabbling over the, the remains of the Macedonian Empire. Um, but yes, we have we have seen the last adventures in, in Italy for now, I think. And we'll get back to more of the uh, yes, Ptolemaic been, and the... Um, yeah, yes. And, yeah, so, um, the, so the warring factions of the leaders who are maybe no more uh, because I think we're no, far... Ptolemy is still hanging in there. He's down yeah. in Egypt. Okay. You know, he got to avoid all that, so, but, uh, oh, that looks like it's going to be a big one. Lots, lots, lots of troops, lots of blocks there. Fantastic. That's what we like. Eight banners, two leaders on each side, mm. elephants on each side. Yes, sir. Uh, slobber rocker. Yes. Uh, well, as always, thank you for joining us this evening. We hope you're enjoying it. We're getting some uh, amazing feedback. This week, uh, I counted at least three or four comments from the episode that I uploaded this week. And uh, some of them are great uh, as far as being encouraging. And uh, some of some of the folks are really giving us some, some warm feedback about the, the historical information that you and I are providing. So that makes it all worthwhile. And uh, we encourage you to click that subscribe button. Click a like if you're enjoying it. Uh, but more than anything, we'd love to hear your feedback, whether it's Comments, critiques, uh, and criticisms of our strategy, that's always fine, because we're, we're always keen to learn something new. Thank you for being here. Don't forget, Patrick's got other games he's playing, too, on his channel in other eras, so uh, if Ancients aren't your particular cup of tea, he's got another 
historical error that I'm sure will, will tickle your fancy. A smattering of various things, because I'm a student of all history. I love different time periods. So you're kind of getting a, a microcosm of the things that I enjoy. But uh, I want to share them with you, and I'm having a great time doing it. So please, come along for the ride. Until next time, have a good weekend, Peter, and thank you for an excellent series of games tonight. And all right. we hope Thank to see you. you all here soon. Have a good one. Good night. Good night.